This is a video about uh, electrical systems drawing in Visio 2003 2007, and uh, this could apply to any kind of electrical system. In this case, we'll be doing fire alarm. And our first step is importing a CAD background. So, to start this out, we'll uh, insert a page and we'll go to page setup and put our paper size in. And in this case, I'm going to go with 11 by 17 paper. Whatever you can print on will work. Uh, larger is good for a large construction drawing. And we're also going to check. Uh, make sure that on uh, page size it says same as printer paper size because we've actually just set the, the printer paper. And apply that and close. Now, uh, the next step is inserting a CAD background. We go to Insert CAD Drawing. And uh, here we want to have saved a uh, CAD drawing preferably in uh, AutoCAD would be a .dwg file and we don't want to save it in too recent a version for a Visio to import it we'll want to be in um, preferably in AutoCAD 2000 which is what this one is saved in so I'm going to open that drawing and now we'll see the drawing properties uh, window and uh, if we move this a little you can see what we've imported and uh, we'll want to scale this object. We'll go to custom scale and uh, this shows you how it sets on the page. We'd like something uh, a little bigger and to fill the page. So I'm going to change this scale to eighth inch uh, equals one foot. And as you can see, that has the CAD drawing a little too big for the page. So I'm going to go back and adjust that to 3.30 seconds. And that looks just about right. Now we'll notice here in the uh, drawing protection, we have um, lock size and position. We'll leave that like that. But if you do need to move this for any reason, uh, you'll have to go back into the properties for the CAD object and you'll have to um, uh, uncheck that box. So now as we apply that, you can see it gets bigger. We'll go OK here. Now, uh, if you try to move this, you'll find out that you can't. Um, one other thing we'd like to do with this is go to the Layers menu. If you don't have that icon, you can uh, find out how to get that there in a, one of our other videos. And here we show a layer uh, for CAD drawing, and we're going to lock that. The reason we want to lock that is so you don't accidentally select this when you're trying to do other things with the drawing. So this leaves this as a, as a background. It's locked. Uh, if we do need to move it, we're going to have to go back to the uh, Layers menu and we're going to have to uh, unlock the layer. Then we'll go back to the Properties and uh, make it so that it can be moved and resized. And so that's a uh, basic process for uh, inserting a CAD background in a drawing and in uh, other parts we'll uh, cover the other aspects of doing this system.